Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. In the age of gigabyte computing and memory hogging CAD programs, what can you possibly expect to get out of an 18 megabyte zip file? Well, you'd be surprised to learn that you can actually get a full-blown 2D sketch and paint program, complete with spline editing, gradients, and layers. Perhaps it's all the more surprising if I tell you that it's from PTC, a company known for what used to be called Pro Engineer. Quite a hefty CAD program. PTC's Creo Sketch, released this week, is a lightweight 2D sketch and coloring program, but by no means skimpy. The way its lines, arcs, and splines work is quite different from the way they normally work in 2D CAD drafting programs. I'd say in Creo Sketch they are much easier to manage. The idea is to sketch out 2D profile using splines, arcs, and straight line, then apply color treatments and gradients to them. If you'd like to fill colors, it's important to make sure your profiles are closed. You'll have to snap start points and end points in your spline profiles to close them, so remember to do that. One of the creative color methods that's available in Creo Sketch is the use of friskets, as PTC calls them. What you do is choose to either color insight or color outside the frisket, then choose a brush and start painting. The software automatically leaves the colors inside or outside the profile for you. In Creo Sketch, you won't find a dedicated gradient fill button, but you can do it by setting up two contrasting colors, then dragging a straight line with your mouse to indicate the direction of the gradient's flow. You can also add text to your design with full support for a wide variety of fonts and colors. Then you can use layers, much like you would use them in Photoshop or Illustrator, to stack up your color patches. A couple of observations here. In Creo, you need to click the middle mouse button to terminate a command, like spline. Even though your paints and colors are applied based on sketch profiles, they're not really associated to the original sketch driven by the spline. In other words, after you apply a paint treatment to a spline profile, if you go back and edit the spline profile, the paint profile would not automatically update, so keep that in mind. Zooming into the drawing is straightforward. There may be, I think, an easier way to pan around the canvas or zoom to a specific area on the canvas, which I can't seem to find. Creo Sketch is not meant to be a precision drafting tool like AutoCAD LT from Autodesk or DraftSite from Deso Systems. It's probably closer to Autodesk Sketchbook Designer, in my view. But like DraftSite, PTC's Creo Sketch is free. You can just download it from PTC's website. As a small, simple, easy-to-learn program giving you a lot of play for just a little bit of disk space, Creo Sketch is no less than a preview of PTC's upcoming strategy. It's a sign that the company is fulfilling its promise to deliver slimmer, purpose-built modules instead of an all-inclusive, monolithic CAD program. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong, creating colors in Creo.